Oh, right. <laughs> Okay, which of these do I use? I think it's this one. Oh wait, no, it's not that one. It should be this one. Okay, I'll try that again. What? Try that again. Okay, I thought I broke it. Okay, working now. God, who back to the rescue? Wow, who knew you were gonna be here? Who knew? I had no idea. No idea that you were gonna be here at all. You know, I just... I didn't even see that coming. Oh, hi, Cade. Nice. Pharaoh is kissing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... That's, that's what the game's called. Yep. That is exactly what it's called. Ah, my controller comes unplugged, like, every... every second. But yeah, last time I streamed, the guy who made the ROM hack came in here, and I told him that Part 9 was broken, and then he fixed Part 9, apparently, so that's what I'm doing now. Because I already know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, you're in Washington, D.C.? Nice. Wow, good job. Um... Good job making it there. Yeah, I totally forgot you were um, you were going somewhere over like winter break. Well, that's cool. I've been to Washington D.C. before once. It is definitely a location for sure. Mister and her husband at visiting time. Oh yeah. So I guess they're also there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my fam, uh, my fam squad is just staying home for New Year's and stuff. Which, wow, it's like the 27th right now. There's less than five days left. I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. Alright. Thank you, my dogs. Oh yeah, so for Christmas, I totally got We Party You, and so we're probably going to play that on the day before New Year's. That's going to be going to be pretty epic. Pretty epic indeed. Oh, your your bags are here. Sounds like fun. Oh, that was that was definitely a sentence that you said. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I just realized. Okay, yeah, we got, um... I got We Party You over... Yeah, like, for Christmas break. I mean, for Christmas. That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. All right, well, have fun in Washington, D.C. Goodbye. This is very... Very neato. Fiery. Um, thank you, thank you, Vuvac. Very cool. You know, you're so polite to, um... Just to everyone in my chat. Wow. You, you even said bye when Kate left. You were so nice. Okay, so now I have to go here, and um, then I can I can play that one song. It's gonna be it's gonna be real fun. Oh, hi Rohu, you have a YouTube video. Wow, that's cool. Rohu and Huvac meeting for the first time. It's like worlds collide. That's insane. I'm gonna click the YouTube video. I want to see where it goes. Where's this go? Oh, you fi oh you found it. Nice. Oh, awesome! You found it. Yeah, I tried to find the Mario sixty four variation specifically, but I couldn't. Uh, I was never able to find that. And my sister started playing that mod last night, and she got ten stars. That's cool. And it reminded me of that song, and I was like, oh yeah, I still need to find the Mario 64 version. And then here you are today, with the Mario 64 version. How perfect. But yeah, hi, Roku. Yeah, I'm just here playing some Majora's Mask with my boy Huvac, who's definitely not my alt, who I created to um, break awkward silences. Um, you know... Definitely a real person. If you don't believe me, you can ask him yourself. Oh, look at that. He just said it. He just said, I'm a real person. So now you know. He, he is a real person, not an alt. He's a real person that isn't me. Do you just delete his message? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I would make him a mod, but I don't trust him with that role. I think he's just gonna... He's gonna ban everyone, and, you know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just too scared to do something like that. I just don't think I can do it. Pretty rude, not gonna lie. You know, I literally told you, he's a real person, with real feelings, real emotions. Type in a hello, Paul. Um, I... Oh, you mean him? You mean you want him to type in a hello, Paul? Okay. I mean, he can just he can just type that. Oh, oh. He um he misspelled the word hello. I guess he he thought there was an, like an R in hello. Last I checked, there isn't. Wow, Huvac, you're pretty dumb. <laughs> look, look at this guy. He can't even spell hello. <laughs> he told me last stream he was from Denmark, though. So. Oh, hi, Milk. I saw you in the chat at, like, 423. Uh, Diggly darn it. How did you find out that your stream needed a verified phone number for six months? Six months? Um, wait. What? Wait, what are you talking about? I do not know. It wasn't like that for six months. Right? But yeah, I did I did change that cuz you know, I noticed things. You know? And I I totally called that you were the one that did it. So, that's how I know. Oh good, I can finally get this. Gamma 64. I'm sure you needed a verified phone number. Yeah, yeah. But was it like that for six months? Or do you mean... No, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, verified phone numbers are like... Just why? 
And so I removed it. Gamma 64. What is that? I don't know what that is. More normal beta mod. Oh, interesting. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna write that down, because I wanna... I'll just let, uh, look that up later. Hold on. Let's see. Gamma 64. Okay. I'll totally look that up later, because... I want to see what it is. Oh, also, yay, this isn't broken anymore. Cool. You kind of crucible. Dude, I read the I, I read the crucible. So sick. Sick reference. That's oh, fine. I have that mask. I wonder if he accepts this mask too, because he might. Yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be Salem, a town. Dude, just like Town of Salem. Literally the same thing. Something amazing is that when you read the Crucible, it's like, oh my god, there's like characters in here that are literally in Town of Salem. Like you got Giles Corey, Cotton Mather, um, Abigail Hobbs, Abigail Williams, Sarah Good. You know, you just got all the boys. Dude, it's the Cave of Ordeals from Twilight Princess. Am I gonna take fall damage every time I jump off? John Proctor? Yep, that's one. Wow, you actually knew one. Elizabeth Proctor? I'm actually not familiar with that one. I think there's like six... No, 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 15 default names in Town of Salem. Like, every round you get to choose your name, but if you don't choose one in time before the round starts, it gives you a default one. And it just randomly chooses from some. Oh, one of them was Diodat Lawson. There's a name. Reverend Hale. Okay, I have heard of that name, but I don't think that's actually in Town of Salem. But I have heard the name. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, um, I like just naming myself in-game Sarah Bad, because, you know, there's a Sarah Good. But what about Sarah Bad? Governor Danforth? Oh, you mean Thomas Danforth? I know him as Thomas Danforth. Yeah, Sarah Bad. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. Sometimes people just come up with different versions of the default names. Like, everyone who plays Town of Salem just knows all the default names. And so it's like, whoa, I have no idea what any of these people did during the Salem Witch Trials, but I definitely know their names. Oh yeah, yeah, Batty Proctor. Yeah. There's no one named, like, Goody Proctor or anything, but, like, I know that's a name in the Crucible. I don't know. Is that, like, a real name or is that a nickname? I literally don't know. Yeah, instead of Goody Proctor, of course. Ow. Okay. Goody Proctor is Elizabeth Proctor. Oh, okay. So Goody's like some kind of, some kind of like nickname kind of thing. That's weird. I don't like that. Like, why does it make the assumption that she was a good person? I mean, maybe she was. I don't know. It's like, why do they just assume that about her? A little bit racist, if you ask me. I'm trying to think what other names were there. I don't even know. Who even knows? Yeah, something weird about Town of Salem, the game, is that, like, even though, like, it's kind of based on the Salem Witch Trials, the actual people who the town is trying to, um, to go up against is the Mafia, for some reason, because, like, I don't know, I guess the Mafia is just a thing. And then you actually, you know, the witches are actually the bad guys in the DLC, but it's like, why is it the Mafia in the base game? Can Hubak break the tension again? Hubak, I need you to break the tension, okay? I need you to... Come on, Hubak, we got, we got a lot of, um, we got a lot of sexual tension up in here. You need to, you need to do something about it. You need to do something about it. Come on, Hubak, I'm waiting. Um, come on, just say something. Oh. Be a... 
thank you. Okay, wow. That really just broke the tension, you know? Just... Yeah, I think everything's fine now. Thank you, Huvac. You the best. Huvac's the real MVP here. And you hear hello. Whoa, Roku 3? Dude, we have like, we have like, three whole people in my chat. Like, everyone who isn't watching my stream right now is gonna see like, um, they're just gonna see the chat right now and they're just gonna be like, oh my god, I should join this stream. It looks so active. Like, there's like, a bunch of people having a whole conversation. I wanna be a part of that. Oh, sup, Roku. Roku 3 and Roku 4. That's, um, that's wonderful. Very wonderful. Even Huvac saying hi. Because he's just, he's a nice person. He's pretty friendly. I actually just met him last stream. He's, um, you know, he always just, he's always just nice and just likes to say hi to people. That's like his favorite thing to do, probably. It's probably his favorite pastime. Hello, chatter. What's up? What is VIP for again? Um, it's for, um, important people. Let's use spam and not much else. I mean, it's mainly just a status symbol, I think. It doesn't really do that much. I mean, it doesn't do much that actually matters, anyway. That's one way to put it. What is spam? Oh, that's when people, like, just type a lot of things in the chat. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, so that's how it works. I guess Huvac didn't know that either. It's pretty self-explanatory, though. Ah, a pineapple! Oh, oh my god, I just jumped right onto that. Alright, so basically, you're dead. Oh, I just noticed there's no timer in this area. Hey, why isn't the door opening? We have a problem here. How is she doing it? She doesn't have VIP. Hoomstiv. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I did not know Roku 3 was a female. A female specimen. Oh my god, we're really expanding on this Roku lore. How does she do it? Like, no VIP. What? Oh, there's a wall master in here. Dude, I didn't even notice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna assume you haven't checked my Discord. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't uh, been to your Discord in like 10 years. Whoa. <laughs> well, Huvac's asking the real questions. Thank you, thank you, Huvac. That's very, it's really bad grammar. I'm starting to think you're just like Milk's alt or something. Huvac might just be Milk's alt. I mean, he's not my alt. Not my alt. Definitely not mine. Um, I'm not Huvac though, so you can't you can't blame me for anything he says. He's just someone I'm letting into my chat. There's a reason I'm not making him mod. Because I honestly don't think... I don't even think Huvac is that good of a person, really. Um, Huvac's kind of a garbage person, so really you can just disregard everything uh, Huvac says. Ow. That is very cool. Very, very cool. Wait, you can just hit these with your sword? I thought you needed projectiles. Kill them. 
Ow, I never knew that. Somehow. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I see. Understandable. You know, who back? Do you have anything to say about that? Like, I don't really know uh, how, what I think about that, but let's see what let's see what Huvac says. I'm just wait, hold on. I'm just checking uh, just checking my texts. Um, I'm just checking my texts. I'm not typing anything. I'm just checking my texts. Okay, no texts. I just wanted to see if I had any new texts. All right, Huvac says epic. That's that's good. I'm glad he thinks that. You know, whatever Huvac thinks, I kind of just agree with. I mean, he's right about most things. Um, so I'm just gonna agree with him on this one. Geez, is that the movie from, like, 12 years? Was there a movie called Epic? Oh, right, like, you know, like, epics. Like, that's what they're called. Like, you know, the heroic stories or something. I don't even know. Wait, is there a movie called Epic? I don't even know. I mean, apparently there is. There must be. Um, as I have now been informed. Oh, there is. That's from, like, 12 years ago. Then that means that movie came out in... Oh, oh, God. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't do this. I'm, where am I? I'm not at the beginning, am I? Oh, okay, I am, but I don't have to refight the enemies, I think. <laughs> do I have to go all the way back down? <laughs> is there any way to not take fall damage every time? I don't know how long ago, but it was long ago. Yeah, it must have been, like, from, like, forever ago. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do to prevent fall damage. Yeah, this is one way to do it. Okay, can't go through that door. Uh, can you believe that 2021 ends in, like, a few days? Like, that's gonna happen. It's, that's, like, really amazing, I think. Because, like... Man, it kind of feels like it just started, you know? I, I feel like it... Honestly, I feel like 2021 just, like, literally just started. No, no it doesn't, idiot. You idiot. It does. Okay, you know what? He's wrong. It literally just started. How painful was that for Link? Pretty painful. I mean, you know, he's kind of like a superhuman being because he has like, um, like 17 hearts, whereas the normal human beings have like one, typically, like most of the time. Um, must be pretty painful though, either way. Animation looked painful. Yeah, I was looking away for a second because I was checking my texts um, while Huvac was typing. Just a coincidence, though. Three screens while wearing a mask. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, it lets you skip that cutscene, like, um, every time after the first time you watch it, but yeah. A creepy animation. <laughs> Stop falling. Dude, why are there even wall masters in this area? It's so stupid. I have to, like, <laughs> I have to go through the entire dungeon just to get back every time. Okay, it's in here. This is the one. Move. Run, run, run. Uh, that was close. There's two of them? That is the worst enemy. I'm just gonna kill them when they come up here. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about them anymore. I kind of wish I didn't take fall damage every time. Like, the only way to not take fall damage is to do this, really. And I can't think of another option. How many are there? Ew. 
Wait, are they like respawning? Wait, that's not possible. They they can't do that. Like, how many are in here though? I don't even understand. Oh whoa. Alright. Good. I'm really glad that's done. You know, it was getting kind of annoying. Yeah, thank God. Alright, we got these MFs. These enemies are called emos. Spelled E E M O. They're just emos. They didn't look very emo to me, though. Alright. That was an easy room. I get a lot of hearts out of this. I kind of came over prepared. Like, I literally have five fairies that I don't need. Okay, what is this? Ah, I knew. I knew this. One of the hints I remember said, like, you need the Garo's mask for this. Yay. Oh, there's no fire ring this time. What does he tell me? Oh, that, that doesn't help me. Alright, bye. You recognize this character? Whoa, you recognize... the Garo? That is so cool. Have you ever really played any Zelda games? It seems like you probably haven't. This game is, like, so cool, though. You should totally play it. Oh, okay, so not really any. Whoa, how can... how can this be? Like, WTF? I would have had Huvac say that. Or, yeah, I would have made him say that, but, like, I, I didn't feel like going into the chat. Oh, he said it anyway. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Not playing Zelda? What's wrong with you? That's, I also would have made Huvac say that if I was motivated enough to, to do that. I do kind of wish there was a more subtle way to um to make Hubak say things. You know, it's kind of hard, but you know he manages. He manages just fine on his own. Oh yeah, so I heard there's 30 floors to this. Probably on like floor 19 or something. The script. I'm not smart enough to do that, unfortunately. So, like, I wouldn't be able to do that. It's tragic, but that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, so, like, yeah, I can make, like, a... Some kind of bot or something. That would be really fun. Uh, I don't really know how to do that, though. Also, I might have to make them a mod if, they, if I wanted them to do that. I will pay for my sins. No, Snot, please don't do it. So, hi, Snot. What's up? How's it going? Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so where's the, um... Is there another enemy in here? Because I ain't seen nothing. There, there's no enemy in here. <laughs> Do we have a problem here? Is something invisible? Oh, th why is there an invisible enemy in here? Why would you do this? <laughs> is that the last one? Why is there even an invisible enemy? That's horrible. Oh. Alright, I got this. I'm just gonna bomb some MFs. Is 
these enemies are called bad bats, and they never appeared in any Zelda game past this one. Because they're literally just a retextured version of an enemy that already exists that does regularly uh, regularly recur in the series. I kind of like the way they look, though. I mean, they're just bats with glowing red eyes. I wish I was a black bat with glowing red eyes. Okay, is that it? No. Oh no, he's coming. Okay. Oh. You know what? I can I can cheese this. Cause I just so happen to have this mask. Okay. Well that's cool. These enemies I think are easiest to beat if you have like arrows, honestly. Yeah, why not just do that? <laughs> okay, this is like way too hard. I mean, I'm not failing, but I feel like I'm not really succeeding either. I'm almost out of arrows. Okay, I'm worried I might need arrows. I'm just not gonna risk it. Okay, good. I don't even want to kill these guys. But I, I kind of don't have a choice, though. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm gonna use uh, this to make this way easier. We got baby mode over here. Oh, nice. Finally, I was wondering when I was going to get to the 20th floor. You've done well to make it this far. Yeah, well, I, I don't really want to. I don't really have a reason to do that. I guess you would if you didn't have the five arrows. Oh, if I was out of arrows right now? <laughs> oh my god, I actually did need the arrows. That would have been so bad. Oh my god. I hate this room. Ah, I can't even see these coming. The only reason I'm using the Great Fairy Sword here is because it's longer. But I'm not able to use the shield when I use this, so I don't know if it's actually worth it. This room sucks. I just want to say that. Yeah, I'd rather just use the shield, I think. I want those arrows. Oh, good. Now I can actually use arrows. 
Okay, one more, I think. I think that's the last one. Yeah, good. Ah, uh, Armos. Are these all real? I'm assuming they are. Remember there was a ring with Armos in Twilight Princess's Cave of Shadows, which was like the most annoying thing ever. I mean, it's an enemy that clearly was never intended by the developers to be fought as Wolf Link, and then they just make you do that anyway. And it's just like completely terrible. Oh, I just got a notification. Fwa is playing a game called Cluster Truck. Good for him. Good, another room down. You know, that's just great. I played that, it's sick. Is it? I've never played it. Man, we're so similar, and yet we're also so different. Aren't we, Hooback? All right, we got these enemies that are called Shabombs, I think. I prefer to just call them Bubbles, but that's not actually their name. Because there's actually a different enemy called Bubble, and it's those skull things that don't even look like Bubbles, so I don't really... I don't really know what's up with that. I will die, but I have a fairy, so see if I care. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this happen. There's so many of these enemies, I don't even know the optimal way to fight them. Huh, now I'm just not getting hit at all. I just realized these enemies aren't even in Majora's Mask, right? Yeah, these aren't even in Majora's Mask. I guess they brought them over from Ocarina of Time. Alright, he's ready to take some fall damage. I'm gonna die from fall damage. Iconic. Yeah, it's that funny who back. Man, I love you, who back, and you know why? Because you can't leave me. You know, normal people they'll leave you sooner or later, but who back is just he's just my best friend who can't leave me even if he wants to. Ow. Alright, well that works. I had to kill these guys without using the Deku flowers. I don't even remember. Oh, right, you can use bombs. Hear something. What? <laughs> I can even see that. Oh, it's invisible. That's why I couldn't see it, because it's just. It's not visible. Uh, okay, fine. Take this out. Oh, there's like multiple.
Okay, how about this one? Okay, probably only a few fours left. Ah! I didn't even know that was there. Look how easy this is with the Gibdo mask. Okay, not that hard of a room. It is so cool that he made this whole thing in Majora's Mask. Weirdly, I'm forgetting, in Twilight Princess, did the Cave of Ordeals have 100 floors or 50 floors? 100 seems like a lot. I don't think it had 100. I think I'm getting mixed up with the Pit of 100 Trials from the Paper Mario games or something. I don't know. I love bombs. Okay. Should just be this guy left. Finally. Oh. Was that there before? I guess it was. Alright, got some more pineapples. I think you need bombs to kill these enemies here. I mean, I don't know how else to kill them. If I ran out of bombs, then that would also, like, really suck. Okay. Not as hard as I thought that was going to be. How many... like three. This must be the last four because the Cave of Ordeals in Twilight Princess totally does this exact same thing. I mean, Iron Knuckles are basically just Dark Nuts, so like, you know, same thing. I don't even need to try and block these attacks because I'm invincible. I can't die. I can't be killed. Doom is so much more annoying than Twilight Princess. For real. I'm winner. Okay, that might be the end. Yay, I did it. What did she say? <laughs> oh, I totally forgot to use the code that removes the ice arrow, but whatever. Doesn't really matter that much here anyway. I'll do it for the next tack, though. Hey. Okay, that was really cool. I love what they did with this. I mean, he didn't have to make an entire Cave of Ordeals replica. Yet yeah, he did. And it was actually really fun. I really liked that. That was a good one. Alright, next up is part 18. It feels so good to finally have done part 9, because, like, I just couldn't do that for the longest time. Alright, just opening the tracker again.
All right, Cocktown. My favorite. I love Cocktown. Actually, don't. Southern Swamp, Path to Snowhead. Oh, there's like never anything hidden in the Path to Snowhead. Where's Southern Swamp? There it is. Okay. Oh, wait, Path to Snowhead? I was thinking Path to Mountain Village. Because that place, like, never has anything in it for some reason. We're on racetrack. I never recognize this one. Okay. Great Bay Coast. Path to Econa Canyon. Where is that? Ah, there it is. And then last one, Econa Canyon. Called it Path to Econa Canyon when it's actually just Path to Econa. Just want to uh, throw that out there. Okay, where do I start? Who back? Do you think do you have a suggestion? I bet you do. You know, you have a lot of opinions on things. Um, so I just want to know what you're thinking. Oh, okay. You really, you feel really strongly about me going to Path to Ikana. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Let's have some really strong opinions. If you uh, type that whole thing in uh, you with, with caps lock on. And so I will do it. It is a really easy location, so I understand why you want me to go there so much. Oh, wrong mask. What? I'm literally just trying to equip the Goron mask to the... Can I not do that in the water for some reason? I'm not even trying to wear it, I'm just trying to equip it. This game's really cool sometimes. Okay, so... I think I know where it's gonna be already. Because there's not many places remaining in the Path to Econa uh, Canyon where it could actually be. And honestly, I think if it's gonna be anywhere, it's probably gonna be um, in that one grotto. just the first place I'm going to check, because, I mean, you just know it's going to be there. Where is it again? I know it's somewhere around here. Actually, I don't think Epona's even required. Yeah, yeah, you can just get it here. Okay, is it here? Like I thought it would be. Huh. Is it not? Wow, I am shocked and appalled at the lack of signs in this grotto. Oh, maybe it's on that pillar. Oh yeah, of course it is. That was like my other thought. I totally had to go here in the randomizer, so I'm familiar with this. That is <laughs> why I hear the lyrics from um, that one song. There just are, I guess. Okay, Thunder. Some of these are weirdly highlighted. Maybe I should, I'll just capitalize them. And lightning. 
very, very, I, I need to finish the whole, um, the whole sentence. Very important. Okay. Um, where should I go now? Okay, Huvac, you're the only one here. Why don't you pick the next place? I personally, um, um, I personally want to go to, like, Southern Swamp, I think. What do you, what do you want? Oh, Goron Racetrack, please. Uh, I definitely didn't actually want to go there. Okay, this one's for you, Huvac. need a powder keg for that. Yeah, so I've um, I've been informed from very re reliable sources that um, you apparently don't even need to fight Gots in order to get into the Goron Racetrack, which is pretty sad because I didn't actually know that. So, how did I know that? Uh, Goron Racetrack isn't so bad of a location. And I just think that's nice. Okay. I'm with 50. Eh, just get 60. Jimmy later today, I think. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I tried... I tried making, um... I, I tried experimenting around in Navi. And, okay, so I understand most things. Like, I know how to... Oh, wait, am I going in the Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah, I am. But, yeah, I understand how to, like, um... Move stuff around, change the music that appears in certain places. I mean, I understand the basics, but I can't add stuff. I mean, all I really need to know how to do is just add signs and stuff. And then I'll be good to go. Oh, and of course the chest that has the light arrows. It's really basic stuff. It's the one thing I need to do, but I can't really do that. Oh, and of course I need to know how to customize the text on the signs. That matters too. If only I knew how to do that. Alright, is it back here? I was actually hoping it would be there. That would have been funny. I think I know where it's actually going to be, though. I strongly believe that it's going to be behind one of these things somewhere. I haven't found it yet, but, like, you just know it's going to be there. Oh, never mind. Okay, we got, we got more lyrics. Literally everyone knows the lyrics to the song. Like, regardless of whether anyone intended to or not, everyone just knows them. Sends shivers down my spine. Bodies aching all the time. Wow, sick rhymes. Okay. So, one of the hints is about, like, it says lightning, but 
Specifically, the word light is capitalized, but ing is also capitalized, and I don't know what's up with that. Oh, they mean lighting. I don't know why it took me so long to get that. Bolts and lighting. Bolts, lighting. Not sure what to make of that. How about Iconic Canyon? Okay. Like, I wanna, um... You know what, screw you, Booback. You don't tell me what to do. Uh, I'm get I'll let you choose next time, but you don't get to choose this time. I'm I'm sorry. Um, it's just that I really want to be here. I, I really want to look around this area because um, everything else kind of sucks. So yeah, super sorry about that, bro. What if it's inside of that house? I don't think I've ever seen it be hidden there, but like, what if it is? Not impossible. There's like two specific places I want to check. I'll be done with Ice Arrows Missing by the end of the stream. Well, you know, until he makes more parts. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do Fire Arrows Missing after this. I went to the site and it's pretty weird because there's like part one, part two, part three, part four, and then part six, and that's it. What happened to part five? I do not know, but it's not there. I don't know why, like maybe, maybe it was broken and he had to remove it to fix it or something? I don't, I don't even know. Oh, this would be a really good place back here. You can go down there. Oh, hasn't the sign been hidden there before? I forgot about that until just now. I think it has. This is not a bad place. Right. Okay, where is... Yeah, okay, I just need to use these. Glad you can just bomb that. Oh, hey. I was right. You can use... Wait, what's with the... Oh, a top eye. Okay. A top eye. It's just a top eye. Um, I'll, I guess I'll write that down. Let's see, where is the, Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, you. Okay, nice. Interesting, like, it's using those lyrics, but it's also spelling out a message. It's pretty easy to understand, thankfully. Okay, Huvac, as promised, um, you get to choose where I go, where I go next. I still want to go to Southern Swamp. You know, I think it would be nice to get that over with, but, um, you know, it's up to you. Where, where should I go? Wait, let me play the, um, that one song. Okay. Just go and let me know. Let me know um, what you want. What you, what you want me to do? Oh, path to Snowhead. I mean, that's not bad. I can do that. I might never get to Southern Swamp, but 
but I am fine with this. I swear to God, if it's on that one platform with the, um, that requires the Scarecrow song, I forgot if it's been there yet. I don't know if it's been there. Maybe it has. Really lucky I didn't get hit there. The sign could be over there. It might it might not have loaded in. I'm not sure. Okay, not in there either. I did not realize how small this area is. It's really small though. I mean, there's basically nowhere for it to hide. It's not this, right? Okay. I think that it is on that invisible platform because I can't think of any other options. I'll learn Scarecrow Song, I guess. God, I hate learning Scarecrow Song. Maybe I'll accidentally find the sign mom here. That'd be pretty great if that happened. Okay, here's my song. go back and yeah has the sign really not been hidden here maybe it hasn't wait hasn't the there was something hidden there once was it the ice arrow oh i'm thinking of a randomizer that's where the light arrows were in a randomizer that's what i'm thinking of yeah completely different thing So I need this and this. Oh. Well, hopefully it actually is over there. Because, like, where else would it even be? There. Wait, it's not even there. Um, that is kind of a problem. I'm gonna play the Scarecrow song anyway. be better for like when I played the Scarecrow song instead of pressing like A a bunch of times and then doing a direction maybe I could do the direction first and then press A a bunch of times and that would make it easier I'm smart okay, so this place sucks um what can I possibly be missing they did say path to snowhead right It's along the side. 
actually had no idea you could go along this side. Is that really possible? Wow, didn't even know you could do that. That wasn't worth it. Maybe I should check again and make sure that, like, this is actually the place I'm supposed to be in. Alright, cool. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make my way downtown. Let me see if that's what it actually said. Do I have enough time to get to that sign? I mean, it's like two inches away, but time goes fast in this game, so I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, thank god. Okay, Clocktown, Southern Swamp, Path to Snowhead. So I'm right about that. We're on Racetrack, Great Bay Coast. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll go back then. I just don't understand. I mean, I not be there. on this wall or anything and it's not this sign or anything I mean it's it's clearly not why why ah, I'm so close I hope the answer isn't something stupid like invisible blocks or something. That'd be... Um, that'd be pretty dumb. Gotta say. I'm starting to think it is because there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere else it could be. Right? Unless there's like some kind of grotto I don't know about. Maybe there is. Maybe it'd be easier to see in the spring. If I'm out of ideas, I could try that. It's clearly not anywhere else, so... Wait, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so it is invisible. Ah, of course it is. Okay. I mean, I never really suspect that it's going to be, like, in a place you can't normally access. I mean, can you really blame me? I'm not back this time tomorrow. Okay, so it has to be a specific day. Okay, so... Glad I found that. This time tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I don't have to write out the entire lyrics. Um, I'll just say etc. Because I don't want it to go into a third line. Alright. We have this time tomorrow. Shivers down my spine. So like a cold area. This time tomorrow I guess we mean second day. Bolts and lighting. Like, bolts lighting. That's what it says. I don't know what that means. There are some enemies that do lightning damage to you, I guess. And one of these is, like, a top... Wait, it says... A top eye. I mean, maybe... Lens of Truth, I guess. But a top what? 
There's the Lens of Truth cave, but, I mean, that doesn't match up with the other stuff, right? I don't know. Um, whatever it is, it probably, maybe, requires the Lens of Truth. I don't know. Something eye-related. Okay. Now where do we, where should I go next? Um... I don't know. I, I, I'm i assuming you're probably not going to pick Southern Swamp. You know what? Don't pick Southern Swamp because I don't even want to go there anymore. Um, just, just anything but that. Great Bay Coast. Okay, good. I didn't, I didn't want to go to Southern Swamp anyway. You know, so I, I win here. You know, we both win here because you want me to go to Great Bay Coast and I also want to go to Great Bay Coast. That's, that's good, I think. Okay, I'm gonna check back here every single time until it actually ends up being here. <laughs> Still not there. Uh, when is it gonna happen? not here either. Oh. Alright, whatever. I want to check over here. Where I've never even seen it like be in this area with the fisherman's hut and all that. I mean, the stream is so cluttered, they could probably hide it in here and it would be really hard to notice. Okay, I always check this grotto as well. And it's never really here either. Still not here. Okay. Somewhere else then. What about... Um... Not this area. That'd be so weird if it was actually over here. Okay, that sign's normally there. I'm familiar with that one. Okay, I guess not. Maybe it's just underwater in some random place somewhere. Oh, oh. Found it. Oh, that is not a bad place. I see how that's easy to miss. Face the truth. Okay, wow, that that narrows it down. Well, I guess that's what a top eye means, I think. I mean, I'm assuming that's what that means. Face the truth. Sure, I'll face the truth. Okay, so now it's just down to Clock Town and Southern Swamp. Um, I, um, I'm going, okay, I think I almost have enough hints to figure this out. I think. Um, not completely sure about that. But yeah, I choose Southern Swamp because it's faster. Um, um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you say. You, there's nothing you can say that can change my mind. So yeah, I'll just I'll just go here. 
Oh. Okay, well, I mean... I guess that works out, then. Yeah, so you were just gonna make me go here anyway? That's... that's so great. That works out so well for both of us, doesn't it? Don't you think? Okay, I wanna see if it's back here. Oh, okay, they're actually... There's a place I want to check first. I'll go there soon. I just want to kill this guy. So I can get through there later, if I have to. So I've still never really seen it be over here, but I still think it's going to be over here eventually. Not if it's actually been behind this before. I don't think it has. Oh, nice. There it is. Did mean to make you cry? Goron Village? Maybe? mean to make you cry. The only thing I think I can mean is like the um Goron uh Goron village. Um wow who back I don't know what that means. Why did you even type that? I don't know what that means. Um okay, so cry that's Goron Village. Shivers down my spine. Right, the Gorons are like shivering and stuff. Gonna leave you all behind and face the truth. Okay, wait. Face the truth. They don't just say truth, they say face the truth. Maybe they mean like something like from Goron Village, like towards the Lens of Truth Cave. Bolts and lighting. Like, I don't know what that one means. Lighting? I don't know. And then a top eye. I think it's definitely in Goron Village. I mean, it's it's got to be after the cry hint. I can go for the clock town hint, I guess. Might as well try it. Though should I? I could just try going to... Hmm. Bucktown is annoying. I don't want to go there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this a shot. If I'm lucky, I won't need the Bucktown hint. Without a doubt, it's definitely got to be somewhere in Goron Village. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay, this guy is shivering. Maybe that's something. The Gorons in Sign Dote actually... They don't actually shiver, I think. It could still be in here, though. I mean, the shiver hint might just broadly be referring to the fact that it's winter and it's cold. I'm gonna go in here and get the Lens of Truth. Uh, I'll just check the shop, even though I don't think it's going to be there.
Oh, I can't even use the lens of truth in here. I wonder why. I'm thinking it might just be in the room over here. Still, this doesn't tell me what all the hints mean, so I don't think it's actually going to be this simple, I guess. Ah, stop Z-targeting on everything. I wonder if any of them say anything different. I don't think they say anything different. Alright, enough of that. It's not in here. Maybe I do need the Clocktown hint. Although it does say face the truth. I think like, okay, this is the entrance. The truth cave is this way. I don't know if it actually means that I need the lens of truth. But like it should have something to do with the cave, I guess. It's actually going to be in here. Oh, I totally forgot to use the code. Wait, I'm going to try that now. Save state in case this breaks my game. Okay, let me copy the address. Okay. Oh, wow. That just, like, instantly works. Okay, so that that is normally just a blue ruby. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad I did the cheat. Oh, I don't have bombs, so I need the blast mask. Wow, free money. Gonna be super helpful. I'll take out the lens of truth now. Yeah, if it's not in here, then I think it'll just be somewhere outside of this cave. this invisible chest, but I mean, this is just a normal chest. Ow. Well, in that case, um, yeah, it's not here, I guess. That just leaves out here. What if... Okay, I don't really think this is true, but what if that, um... Wait a minute, a top eye? Maybe that means... Go on top of the chest? With the Lens of Truth? I don't know what that would accomplish, but I can try it. Just backflip into the chest? I don't know. I believe you can even stand on this. There's nothing here. This feels like the right place, though. I mean, the fact that I can even stand on this at all. What's up there? Wait. Oh, the light. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that is really smart. I didn't even notice the light. Okay, I need arrows. 
This is totally the right place. I cannot believe I figured this out. Alright, this is my go-to place to get arrows. Amazing. I know, right? I am amazing. I'm glad you understand that. Ubek just gets it. You just get me. Okay, got everything I need. Okay, so the hints, like, is the didn't mean to make you cry one. Which, yeah, I guess that is, that does just mean broadly that it's in Mountain Village. Even if it's not actually in, like, in the indoor section. Oh, what about this time tomorrow? I'm on the second day right now, so I guess I, I think just by coincidence, I'm here at the right time. I wonder if Clocktown specifies like whether it has to be day or night. I don't know. I mean, it's probably day since these torches are here at all. I think I might have just gotten really lucky. Yeah, face the truth. I don't know what bolts means exactly, but yeah, I know what lighting means. And then atop eye. Yeah, it's like above the, the lens of truth chest. That is really smart. How you can see Stone Tower Temple in the distance from here. It is pretty close, like geographically, I think. Okay, here we go. I have um, 30 shots to make this work. Let's see if I can land a single one of them. Not easy. This is hard. It's actually hard to tell if I even have them lit up or not. Did one of them just burn out? If one of them, if they burn out, I'm screwed. I don't know if they did, but like, it kind of looks like they did. Do I really have to like make four shots here? That's hard. I will gladly use save states if I must. Oh my god, this is brutal. Would it be easier if I stood on top of the chest? I can't even reach that if I'm standing on top of the chest, so no. Oh, now I'm actually getting bombs out of these. Okay, at least I can get magic too. Okay. So there's one. Uh, can I even reach that from here? No. Then I'll have to go over here. I don't have another choice. Do I? There's two, three, maybe. I can't tell. Oh yeah, I got all those. Um, I mean, I just have one more. Come on, shoot faster. This is my last chance. No, I was doing so good. This is evil. Like, oh my god, they they really increased the difficulty for this. I just wish they did, these didn't burn out so fast. That's. That's the only annoying thing about this. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem if it just didn't burn out so quickly. I'm gonna try again. I'm getting a magic first, and then I'll save state. That might make it easier. 
Okay. Mm, that didn't work. Oh my god. Maybe this would be easier if I wasn't on an emulator. Then I could be, like, more precise. I don't know. Oh my god, why? Ugh, I guess I have to kill this thing. This is just gonna get in my way. Why are these so hard to hit? Okay. I am ready. Again. Higher than that. Why are there four torches? Like, why can't it just be, like, one? And I'm just saying, if it was one torch, I'd be fun with that. I think that would actually be pretty cool. This is sadistic. Like, if you didn't have safe states... Um, like, if I didn't have safe states right now, I'd probably just want to kill myself. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Do this as many times as it takes. On. How is that not hitting it? It's like, it's right there. Okay, I think I got that shot. I can't really tell. It's really far away. This is just not a good place to put these torches. I'm sorry. Wait, I did that so fast. How is that not enough? That wasn't even enough time. Like, you can't afford to miss a single shot here. Unless I can just shoot in the middle, which I don't think works. Yeah, there's actually like a hole there, so... It doesn't go anywhere if I do that. Eh, that missed. I'm gonna try getting like two shots, and then I'm gonna save state, I think. Like, if I can get the first two quickly, then I'll save state, and that'll make this faster, I think. Okay. Oh, that worked. Okay. Now, if I just make these two fast, then I'm done. Oh, thank god. That was really hard. Okay, I think I did it. And... Whoa, there it is! I did it! I found Ice Arrow. Yeah. I'm really gonna have to remember to take the cheat off at some point. I'll get there eventually. I just wish this part wasn't so hard. Maybe if they used a different type of torch? Because aren't there types of torches that, like, stay lit up after you light them? I don't know. I just think that would be nice. Yeah, that was pretty good. Only three parts left, wow. Okay, part, uh, part 19 is next. I'm gonna have to transfer my save data again. Okay, so the one I created is this one. Okay. I'm going to delete a few of these because I have, like, a lot of saves I don't really need. It just makes things less complicated for me, I think. Okay, that should be good. Nice. Oh, I want to check where the Clock Town hint was. There's actually a few things on the solutions page I haven't checked yet. I said it was missing with two M's. Okay, so where are the other ones? I forgot, like, the last one I checked. I've been mostly reading through these, but I haven't read the last few that I've done. How about part 15? Did I miss any here? 
No, I think I did all of these, actually. I might not have for part, like, um... Part 17, for instance, I definitely didn't. I already know what the image is. I just want to know where these were. Okay, bomber's hideout. Yeah, I found that one. Oh, okay, so they hid one there. I think I did get that one, yeah. Got that one. Got that one. Okay, I didn't get that. Oh, that one's, like, pretty fast to get to, I think. Okay, I know about that area, although it is annoying to get to. I see. And then where was the clock town one for this one? Oh, wow. Sick art. Ah, oh, that's such an easy location. Too bad I didn't do that. Oh, and did it have to be the second day? Yeah, second day. Can it be, like, any time on the second day, or can it be second night? I don't know. Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, I just had to check that. Oh my god, I hate this controller. It didn't used to do this. I don't know why it comes unplugged so much. Is there a way to keep it plugged in? I don't know. Like, it's not even wireless, so I don't even know why it has a cord that comes out. I'm just not really sure what the purpose of that is. So, yeah. Okay. Under... Understabbed... Abler. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, Termina Field. Okay, where's Termina Field? There's Termina Field. Mountain Village Winter, Romani Ranch. Where... Where Romani at? Okay. Dora Hall, Great Bay Temple. Oh, Great Bay Temple. I just processed that. Stone Tower, Moon. Wait, they said Stone Tower, not Stone Tower Temple, right? I always have to check. Okay, just Stone Tower. Okay, which of these places sounds, um, the least terrible? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Hmm. Zora Hall? Yeah, why not? I kind of wanted to go there anyway. Once again, you and I, who back, we're like basically the same person. I mean, we might as well just be the same person. I mean, we, have, we just have so much in common. We should get married. Okay, I think it's either in the shop or it's in the water. I always check the shop first. It's never in the shop. Okay, water it is. I mean, I don't think it's ever been down here. Oh. Maybe it's not there. I thought eventually they would put it there. It still hasn't been there. Okay.
Oh, I think I know where it's going to be. It's totally going to require the Moon Tier trading quest or something. Or maybe not. They've still never used that location, but they used all the other locations for the trading quests. No, uh... I think it's been in this specific room already. It hasn't been in the others. What if you put it here again? No, it's not there. Oh, it's almost as if it uh, isn't in this room at all. It's crazy. God, can you get on the sides of this? I forgot if that's a thing you can do. Either way, it's not there, but like, can I? I don't know. I don't think it's up there, though. So it doesn't really matter. Wait, is that it? Oh my god, that's like, <laughs> it's like submerged underground and that threw me off. One fish, two fish, three fish, skull fish. Nice. We doing nursery rhymes now? Um, since that's capitalized, I'll just let or it's in red. I'll just capitalize it. Oh, not red fish. It says three fish. I don't know if skullfish has any significance because it's not highlighted. So that might be nothing. But if it does mean something, then obviously it means Great Bay. Do I need to do this side quest where you, like, feed the fish the other fish? You, you know, the cannibalism one? I don't know if that's it yet. Um, I'm gonna do... Uh, I would do Romani Ranch, but it's not open. I'll do Mountain Village. Sounds fast. Very, very fast. Yes, thank you for understanding. I'm so glad you understand. I already kind of think it's the cannibalism side quest, though. Like, I mean, if it's not the cannibalism side quest... What else would one fish mean? Oh, it really is never down here. It's not possible for it to be up here, right? Yeah, I don't think it can be there. Hey, can you, like, not talk to me? Wow, oh, thanks. Only so many places to look here. Guess it could be one of these. Oh, hey. Brewing. Brewing? Like witches? There's no fish there. Hmm. That couldn't be referring to the side quest, could it be? I mean, it's not like... I mean, maybe the guy's a scientist. I can't tell if I figured this out from one hint or not. 
Oh, also I need to use the cheat before I forget. Uh, wrong one. Oh, do I not have it copied anymore? Okay, there. Um, maybe I'll try and get one more hint. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is actually go here. I need to check this out. Because I think it might be this. Maybe. I guess I'll get a fish here while I'm... I'm here anyway. Oh, don't you have to feed it like a bunch of fish or something? I recall this side quest being needlessly long. I don't know how many fish I need though. Yeah, the randomizer does a really nice thing where um, you only need one fish. It just saves a lot of time. Let me see if the guy in here is brewing anything. I never really paid attention to the decoration in here all that much. So it could easily be here. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Yeah, he's got like the this stuff. The one fish obviously refers to this, but there's two fish, which means... I think... I think I'm supposed to do cannibalism. If I'm right about this, it's gonna be really smart, because, like, this is just one side quest, you know? And I only needed one hint to figure it out. Even if I didn't immediately go here. How many fish do I need? Okay, that was cool. Fish, please. Come on, fish. I just want to be friends. Um, I know there was another one. Where the hell is the fish? Oh, there it is. I don't even know where it went. There might have been a third one, and if there is, I probably want that. Oh my god, stop. Whoa. Four times in a row? Never seen it do that that many times. It's impressive. Okay. I have three fish. I don't know if that's enough or not. I think you need like five. I don't think three is actually enough. But I'm gonna try this anyway. better work, or I'm going to be really sad. Did it even play the cutscene that it... Oh, okay. There it is. I was worried about this. 
Yeah, it's too close to the edge. Yeah, that's what I thought. I need more. I think I need five in total. That's my memory of it anyway. hard to see them. I mean, they're literally blue fish in very blue water. They're almost impossible to see. There's another one. Okay. I think that's all I need. If I want to be really safe, I can, I can try to get a sixth one. Where's the other one? I don't even see it. Is it even here? Oh, I think it's there. One button. Come on, I don't want to miss this. Oh my god. That was terrible. Okay, I'll try backing up then. Now it's over here? How did it even get there? Okay, well this is definitely enough. What is with Great Bay's weird obsession with like, um, making people put excessive amounts of things in bottles and then bring them to the lab? I mean, they already have the Zora Egg side quest, or I mean, that's a main quest thing. And then on top of that, they have this side quest, which requires you to basically do the same thing. Like, I do have a lot of bottles, but I still have to leave and re-enter to get the fish to respawn anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I have five bottles. I might as well just have three. Either way, I'm taking two trips. Okay, good. Yeah, it was five. That's not nice, Arrow. Ow. Biggest disappointment of my life. Can't believe it's not that, because, like, I know for a fact I'm in the right place. Maybe there's, like, a specific thing I need to do. Maybe it's invisible. Or maybe it's... Maybe I have to be here on a specific day. Yeah, I mean, it said one fish, and like... I mean, that seemed like a giveaway, because... There's originally two fish. So... That's why I felt so strongly that, like... This was the right thing to do. Hmm. Um... Maybe... I will try... I don't want to go to any of these places. I'll do Stone Tower. I'm always worried it's gonna be over there because it might, it might be over there and it just hasn't loaded in. I wouldn't know. in other places first.
think it's been up there before. Hmm, not here either. I think. Ugh. Okay. Okay, now I get to play the fun song. Um, at least three times. I had a dream that I couldn't remember how to play the Elegy of Emptiness. And I had to look up a bunch of guides online for how to do it, and none of them, like... And none of them helped, and it was really annoying. I literally just remembered that actually was my dream last night. Yeah, I actually woke up after it kind of turned into a nightmare. I went to Disneyland, and then, uh... Oh, I see the sign, nice. I need the... Do I need the... Uh, of course I do. I went to Disneyland and there was some kind of like, they were revamping some kind of ride. And so then they were just like, oh yeah, we can, you know, when we do these, um, like when we revamp these things, we let, like while it's under construction, we let people go on these hot air balloon things and fly around and I'm like, cool. And so then, um, it turns out like it was just me and no one else. And I had to hold on to some, like, floating disc that, like, took me around. And I have a fear of heights. And so it was actually, like, really terrifying, and I was pretty sure I was gonna die. And that was my dream. Like, I woke up after that, and that was... That was my dream. I always like it when I get to have dreams like that. Okay, I'm gonna make an amazing song. Oh, that is fire right there. Yeah, so two hints is all I needed to figure out that I'm supposed to be at the research lab. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do there. That's all I need to know. Right, Stone Tower. That's where I'm going. At least I don't need to play the Elegy of Emptiness. Really thought I was going to have to. But I can just get through this without playing it a single time. That's what you want right there. Did a boulder just come out of a wall? I think that just happened. Maybe they come out of those holes. Like, whatever those are even supposed to be, I literally don't know. Okay, hopefully this, um... Oh, I didn't know these were here. <laughs> Since when are these here? These aren't even normally here, I think. Right? I don't think these are normally here. Okay. What's the hint? Near the aquarium. No kidding. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wow. Okay, near the... Aquarium. I mean, kind of already knew that. Um, I just need a hint that tells me what I'm supposed to do when I get there. Uh, I was going to go to the moon, but then I remembered I can't go to the moon until it's a certain time. I'm just going to go to Romani Ranch. Is, um, yeah. I do not, um, I just don't even want to go to any of the other places, like Terminal Field and Great Bay Temple. I want to get through this without having to enter either of those. Like, I don't even want to touch either of those, because those are just disgusting locations.
Okay, I'll have to play this like two more times. I mean, I could get a powder keg, but I think it's literally faster to do this. I like about you who back no matter where I go you're just so enthusiastic about it like I don't know why you're so happy I'm going to Romani Ranch but you just are and I think that's just really cool KFC. God, I love calling it that. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with KFC here. Unless it's right there. <laughs> yeah, that seemed like a good place to put it. Death from above. 19... Oh, I forgot the, forgot the year. Um, okay, death from above. So you mean like when you drop the fish into the thing? That's what I did. I did that already. <laughs> Near the aquarium. I mean, I did that. I literally did that and I didn't get anything out of it. Other than a heart. <laughs> Was I supposed to get an ice arrow out of that? Because... Like, all these hints are telling me the exact same thing. Was that supposed to be an ice arrow or something? Because it's starting to seem like that. I just don't understand that. Let me just look at this. Okay, so... Death from above, that's talking about how you drop the fish in. One fish, two fish, three fish, skull fish. That means one of them eats the other, so there's one fish left. Near the aquarium. Yeah, it's like right next to the aquarium. And then brewing. Yeah, there's like brewing stands in there. Was I supposed to get an ice arrow from that? Like, do I need more hints? Like, do I actually need more hints at all? Because I feel like this should be enough. Oh, wrong warp. I think it's faster to warp again. Should I look up the solution? I mean, I'll totally spoil myself um, if it's... I don't know, if I'm wrong about this. But, I mean, that I think that's a risk I'm just gonna have to take, you know? Unless the chest is, like, somewhere around this. Maybe it's not in the lab, but everything points to it being inside the lab. And they keep referencing this. Like... Why is there... Why are there two fish again? Okay, is there something else in here, maybe? Something that's not normally here? I can't even use items in here, really, so, like, my options are really limited. Hey. 
can't use anything in here, wow. I mean, I could use projectiles if I just use Zoro Link, I guess. I mean, I don't know what that's gonna... Some kind of weird wheel thing there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I am supposed to be here on, like, a specific day. I kind of just want to check the solution, because I... Maybe this is glitching. This might be a really bad idea. But it might not be a really bad idea. Part 19. I don't know if I want to check. Really? Wait, are you serious? Oh my god. It's not even talking about this place, is it? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have looked that up. Dude, that's crazy. It's okay, so it's not even talking about this place. I really thought it was. How is it not talking about this place? It even says brewing. Like, are there brewing stands in the other place where it actually is? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna get it yet. I'm gonna try getting other hints and see if I would have been able to figure this out on my own. Going to the moon next. Because frankly, it's a lot better than either of the other places. I can't find fast forward time in here. I don't know. But yeah, I'll look around Terminal Field just because I have time to kill. I do kind of wish I didn't look it up, but like, I was so sure I was in the right place, and that's just what confused me. I didn't even think it could be referring to anything else, because is there even brewing stuff in the Pirate's Fortress? I don't... I don't even know. Yeah, so I have like six in-game hours to just wherever the hell I want. Oh. I don't know, there's like a million grottos in here. Maybe it'll be in one of the Gossip Stone grottos, because there's four of them, and it's never been in one of them. Which is still really surprising to me, actually. not it's not back here I mean they could do that they could put it out here doesn't seem like it's there though I wish Uh, is that it? Or was that a chest? Oh, that's a rupee. I don't know what I thought I saw. Alright, what else we got? that one grotto with the gossip stones that's around here. 
wish I could remember where it is. Okay, so it's not there, clearly. Man, I hate Termina Field. I seriously wouldn't be here if I could just get to the moon right now. Okay, I do not think it's there then. Was that on the wall? What is that? I don't even know what this is. Why are there rocks here? I don't know. I'm not super familiar with that. wasn't there. Okay, the Gossip Stone Grotto is like over here for the uh, Great Bay one. I think it's in that boulder. Yeah, I mean, it didn't mean there was actually going to be anything here. Oh, there it is. Okay. I love it when it's not even in a grotto. Switch. There's a switch? Really? I didn't even know that. Okay. So I guess these other hints were important. Which leaves two. I don't want to sit through the cutscene, so I'm just gonna just gonna wait it out here wait for midnight. Which have a way to tell if you're, like, giving yourself bits on an alt. I mean, they must have a way, but I don't even know how they would do it. I'm obviously not going to do it, because, you know, too risky. But, like, how would they know? I mean, who's actually going to stop me if I do that? Okay, which of the trials will it be in? It's still never been in the Snowhead trial. So I I strongly think it's gonna be there. I mean that's like the only place I haven't seen it be, and I don't know why. Screw you. I don't even want to talk to you. Which one? You is it that guy? Of course, it's the last one I talked to. Okay, I'll do that and this. I do not like this trial. Hopefully it's not too hard to find or anything. Wait. 
okay then. <laughs> not really what I was expecting. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. And there's nothing invisible? Ow. Nothing else here. I thought there might be like an invisible platform and a hookshot target, but no, they don't even have that. That's obviously the sign. I just don't know how I'm supposed to get to that. That's sort of angled out of the thing. Maybe there's like a... Maybe you have to go through the trial. I don't know what the hell this is. Wait, I'm gonna do this. But I respawn where I actually want to respawn. Kind of important. Now I can just do this thing where I just hold forward. And that makes things way easier. I would assume there's like a switch I can press somewhere. I mean, I've never really seen that happen for like when I'm just trying to find the signs. It's one thing if I'm trying to find the ice arrow, but I've never seen something like this for the sign. But I don't have any other ideas, really. Just try and find a sign somewhere, I guess. I mean, a switch. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know how I noticed that so fast. I was like... I was actually pretty smart. Hey, there's the platform. Wait, where's that even going? Wait, if I fall off, do I have... Do I have to do that again? I might have to, because... Yeah, I might have to shoot the switch again. But I might have to be careful to not, like, fall off. Okay, what the hell? Guess I wasn't going completely straight. I really don't like this place. Do I even make it? It doesn't really look like I'm going to make it. Oh, shoot. Okay, it is coming. Then I can just wait here. Gotta get here eventually. Is it though? I wonder if it respawns every time I fall into the void. I don't want to fall into the void for that reason. I just don't want to risk that. Okay, here it is. I guess I should try and get onto it. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I hope it stays in place after it gets here. Because if it doesn't, um, that's um, that probably wouldn't be very good, would it? Son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Okay, well, jokes on you. I made um, you know, I made a safe state because I am a cheater, a dirty, dirty cheater. So, um, like, what are you going to do about it, right? 
Um, I don't know what's with the wink with that emoticon. Um, I'm gonna assume that was an accident. Where? Okay, there it is, there it is. Ugh. Is it at all possible to, like... I don't know, never mind. If I'm good enough, I can make this shot, but it's really hard. I wish this gave me more time, because this doesn't feel like enough time at all. Really? I made it. This is not good. This should have... This platform probably should have just, like, gone slower. Like, maybe it should have gone fast to get here, but then it should have gone slower after it actually got here. Like, ideally, yeah, that should have happened. Yeah, I really suck at this game, huh? I'm trying to shoot early, and I'm still not shooting early enough. It just feels so wrong to even shoot this early in the first place. Okay, that actually worked. It's hard to even grab onto the ledge of this platform. I'm not even completely sure I can. Under a veil. Oh, a veil. Right. Good one. Yeah. I think I probably would have been able to figure it out with this hint. Like, this specific one. Okay, I'm going to the Pirate's Fortress. Can I just work from here? Actually, I don't think that's possible. I'm gonna have to talk to Skull Kid. Man, I really needed that hint, because, like, every other hint pretty much just... Every other hint points to, uh... Yeah, just the lab at Great Bay. I did not expect it to be anywhere other than that. But yeah, it's true, there is an aquarium in there. I didn't know there was any alchemy stuff in there, because it literally says brewing. Okay, um, yeah, I'll go here. cheated a little bit. I'm confident that I would have figured this out if I didn't. Now I can die happy. And really, that was kind of... That was kind of my true goal in all of this. Okay. But I know exactly where I have to go. Oh good, I have arrows. Okay, I'm gonna take this risk. Damn it. I don't even know how big their sight hitboxes are. It must be really good though. Uh, should I just get the stupid stone mask out? Because I can do it. It's just that I really prefer not to. Yeah, the skullfish just start mauling me if I do this.
good. It's nice actually getting to go to the Pirate's Fortress and actually know where I'm supposed to be going. I mean, I normally uh, dread Pirate's Fortress for the opposite reason. Now I actually know what I'm doing here. Very refreshing. Pirate's Fortress is typically just an agonizing place to be because it is split up into two halves and you never know which one it's going to be in. It's got the water section and then the, the actual pirate section, and you never really know which one you need to go to. seeing any alchemy stuff in there. I mean, the specific word they used was brewing. Hmm. I mean, there must be something in there. They definitely included that hint to try and mislead me. And I really took the bait. Okay, I guess there's just no music now. There's like, there's bottles over here. Maybe that's what they mean. I mean, it's not really brewing. These are just kind of bottles on a shelf. Just saying. I mean, it's like, I get it, but still. There is one fish in there. There's like exactly one fish. Huh. Oh god. Yeah, okay, so I know there's a switch in here. He said something about death from above, which... Um... I don't really... I'm just gonna jump in here and kill this guy. And then I can actually, like, take the time to try and find a switch. If it actually exists. Oh, don't you need the hookshot to kill these? I think you do. Wait, I can't even use the hookshot in here. Do I need the boomerangs or something? These enemies are just not even worth fighting most of the time, so I'm not used to fighting them in this game. I mean, this is such a confined area. I hate this place. How am I even supposed to hit him? Okay, I'm gonna try going up or something. Maybe I can use the hookshot from above. Like, maybe that's what they want me to do. I'm trying to get out, but... Okay. Hello? It's my controller. Um, that's not right. It's not right at all. Why am I not hitting him? It's like he's trying to get to me, which makes it really hard to actually shoot him. Man, this is hard. I guess what I should do is, like, come over here, but then he just changes his location. Come on. 
How doesn't this work? I think I might be supposed to kill- Like, I think I'm supposed to kill this enemy, and that's why I'm even putting this much effort in. Normally, I would just never do this. Yeah, like, in Ocarina of Time, you get iron boots, and so you can actually sink to the bottom. And then, like, uh... And then just use the hookshot while you're down there, but you can't use items as Zora Link, so... Even though Zora Link has the same properties as, like... Um... As, like, the iron boots from Ocarina of Time, like, you can't kill them the same way. You just kill them in this super tedious way that I'm assuming the devs just didn't really think about. I mean, in their defense, the players don't really think about it either. I mean, there literally is no incentive to even kill this enemy 99% of the time. Why? And do the boomerangs really not kill it either? I guess the boomerang doesn't even do damage to it. I mean, I want to do that. But I think it says death from above for a reason, because I think I'm actually supposed to use the hookshot on these guys, which is incredibly hard. Also, I'm just going to get this so that it stops, like... I want the hitbox to just get out of the way. Okay, cool. and do this. I can't believe I can't just hit it normally. It's horrible. I don't want to hear the heart, uh, you know, the low health um, heart beeping sound, so yeah, I'm just making save states just in case. I mean, it, it'll just be tedious. that on. Sure. At least I won't have to go through the transformation animation. Okay, so I think I need to like I think it's important that I run across the edge of this, or else it just doesn't really work. I keep falling in, but can you really blame me? It's really hard not to fall in. I do understand why they put the ice arrow here. I mean, I'm assuming this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I just need to kill this guy. It is so hard, though, seriously. I supposed to not fall in. Like, I'm sure this is possible, but like it's just so hard. Wait, would the stone mask help? I don't really know. If it ignores me if I use the stone mask, then that would be a game changer. Ah, uh, no, it still sees me. Okay, that just doesn't make a difference then. Okay. I'll have him chase me this way, then I come up here, really quickly turn around, and... It's like aim down and then. Yeah, it's really hard to like aim at him in time. Because I can't like Z target on him from here. I don't even have enough time to do this, I swear. Is there like a better way to kill him? I mean, bombs don't work in water, arrows don't work, apparently. Um. 
Um... Any masks? I mean, would bomb... I mean, maybe the blast mask would work? I don't really know. Oh, you can't use that in... Oh, you can use that in water. That's cool. What if I stand here? And then just try using it here? It seems like a really stupid idea. I don't know if I did that in time. Maybe the hookshot really is the only way to kill this thing. Why did they make these enemies basically invincible? Okay, that clearly does not work. I want my hearts back. Hey, I have to, like, move the camera down. Also, it doesn't... Can't target onto it. Ugh, that was... Okay, that was, like, my best attempt yet. I might be onto something here. Okay, I'll have it come over here. Come over here. Hmm. Kind of just the worst thing ever. Is this actually what I'm supposed to be doing? Because it did say something about a switch. I don't know if, like... What if the switch is, like, something else in this room? Because I thought I needed to kill that thing, but what if I don't need to? I thought I did because it... It keeps mentioning the fish, and like, that makes me suspicious. Technically, it could be something else, as long as it's in this room. I mean, I think it has to be this room. I don't see any switches, though. Maybe there's something in here that just looks off. No telling. It couldn't be up there, right? It'd be amazing. I think the beehive was up here initially, so if it was there, I would have seen it by now. I think. I'll just go back to fighting this thing, I guess. It'll just make me feel so much better if I just do this. Even if it's not even in here. If I can just roll this out as a possibility. Because, like, I honestly suspect this more than anything else. Eh, that wasn't good enough. Wait, that didn't even... didn't even do damage. Oh, and death from above? That just means the beehive, doesn't it? 
I just realized it's not even referring to the aquarium. They're talking about the beehive. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with this thing at all. I mean, I thought I could damage this. I always assumed there was a way to damage this enemy. But I think I just straight up can't kill that enemy. Guess I'm just gonna have to run around everywhere and just hit everything until something happens. I do have arrows. Might as well use them. I mean, technically that area is part of the same room. Maybe it's over there. I don't know, if I'm out of ideas, I can look there. Doesn't mean I actually think it's there. Oh yeah, everything I shoot, I can probably just use the hookshot on, if I don't want to waste arrows. What switch? I don't see any switch. This is near the aquarium. Right. Okay. I totally forgot about that, but yeah. Whatever it is, it should be really close to this, I guess. I mean... Right? I mean, there's a lot of stuff close to the aquarium, though, isn't there? face over here. I wonder if this is what the Great Bay Temple hint is for. Like, I wonder if that would actually help me, um, figure out exactly, like, where the switch is gonna be. Okay, let me try that other room real fast. I know I'm definitely in the right place, but I cannot find a switch anywhere. Unless the switch is invisible, which... You know what? Actually, it could be. I'd rather check this first, though. Also, I want to slow down time. Maybe wouldn't have been... Maybe it would have been faster if I just loaded my other save point, but whatever. I literally don't care. Maybe I can shoot the switch through here. I already did shoot an arrow through there. Yeah, there's like nothing to shoot here, so... I wonder if the Great Bay Temple would actually help. Or if like, it would just give me a hint that doesn't even matter. I just don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I just hate that dungeon, and I'd just rather not go there at all times, so... That's just what I'm not sure about here. Get my arrows out again. Wow, 
Why? Okay. All I know is that it's near the aquarium, which, I mean... I mean, this isn't that big of a room. So, like, isn't everything near the aquarium? Literally, what here isn't near the aquarium? I go on the chest. I don't know what I thought that would accomplish. Maybe it's one of the chairs over here. I don't know. That's how you can tell I'm out of ideas. What are they even making? This is just like completely red. It's one of the spears. Maybe it's not. Near the aquarium. Like, it's not in the aquarium, but it's near the aquarium. Oh, right. I haven't tried Lens of Truth yet. Why not try that? Maybe there'll be something I didn't see before. I don't know. Nothing out of the ordinary as far as I can see. But if I'm supposed to be here on a certain day, that would suck. You never know. So you can't go behind this couch, I get. You can go on the couch? I had no idea. I mean, I didn't know you could go, like, all the way onto the top. Hmm. Maybe I should go to Great Bay Temple. Oh, I hate Great Bay Temple. I don't want to go to Great Bay Temple. You ever think about that? Like, maybe I just don't want to go there. I mean, I literally don't even know if the hint there is going to matter, but that's kind of the point. It's like, normally I wouldn't be complaining about this, but I just do not like Great Bay Temple. But at this point, it seems like I'm probably gonna have to, because I do think I'm in the right room. This is the only one that makes sense, but like... What if it's one of those? I've already shot them all, haven't I? It would be one of the spears, because they do kind of resemble the crystals, like those crystal switches. But there's a lot of in this game. It's obviously not that, though. Um. Do we need the other hints help? Under a veil. Like, yeah, okay. Wait. Isn't it like a veil only near this couch? Does that mean anything? When they say veil, do they literally mean, like... They mean the literal veils up there, because I guess those are... Do those count as veils? I don't even... I don't even know. I think that's worth investigating. There's only like three of them in this room. There's barely any. Oh, 
I mean, whatever it is, it isn't invisible. Because, like, if it was invisible, I feel like I should have seen it by now. Oh, yeah, I can do that if I want to hit a lot of targets at once. Like, if that's not hitting anything, then it's just not there. This is weird, but what if I try using the Blast Mask? <laughs> yeah. There you go. I can't believe I actually figured that out. Okay. Unbelievable. I actually did figure that out on my own. Wow. Oh my god. That was challenging, actually. Like... But I get it. I mean, it says under a veil, and it's like, yeah, it's... This is where a veil actually is. Like, when I heard that hint, I was just thinking... You know, obviously it means a veil. That means come to this room, but like... That hint, like, straight up tells me that, like... It's literally under her. Like, it literally is under where she stands in the game. That one really was hard. Okay, then. I guess I'm done with this part, then. Only two parts left. Wow. Oh, yeah. I want to know what the Great Bay hint was. Okay, what was that hint? Let's see. Um, part 19. Um... Oh my god, it was in that room? I'm really glad I didn't go to Great Bay Temple. <laughs> Patrolling? Yeah, that wouldn't have helped at all. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get that. Yeah, pretty glad I didn't get that one. Okay, I'll transfer my save data again. Always fun. So, open file location. Um, copy this. Isn't this the one I just made? Oh, this is the one I just made. Okay. Should be able to delete these files, and I think it'll be fine. Okay, I am ready. Yeah, Great Bay just was not even worth it. Under a Veil was like the only hint that actually mattered. Let's be real here. You can solve it with that hint alone, but not really any of the other hints alone. I mean, that's like the only one you need. And everything else is kind of pointless if you know that one hint. Okay, here's part 20. Can't believe there's this many parts. Okay, Southern Swamp. Um, yeah. That was a nice place. Woodfall, Goron Village Spring. Okay, that's a place I've never really been, honestly. Normally I only go there in the winter. Ocean Spider House, Zora Cape. I like Ocean Spider House. I don't like Zora Cape. On a graveyard, Stone Tower Temple. Stone Tower Temple. Okay. It's not bad. Let me just make sure it said Woodfall, and not Woodfall Temple. Have they ever hit it in Woodfall? This is a weird question, but I'm kind of forgetting. Oh, I think I think it was once. It was just a one-time thing, and that's it. 
Okay, I'm gonna start with Ocean Spider House because it is easy and I want to do it. Actually, I'm gonna get arrows first. Just stuff them and hope. I probably won't finish this part today, but I'm just gonna get a head start on it, I guess. I mean, I would just do Stone Tower Temple while I'm here, but, like, no. So, yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. What if it was behind this wall? That'd be really funny because you'd kind of be guaranteed to accidentally blow up the sign when you try to when you just try to enter this place. It'd be really funny. Like it wouldn't be a hard sign to get. It's just that it would be really funny. And that kind of makes me want to hide it there when I make mine. Okay, which of these rooms is it most likely to be in? It's one place I check every time and it's never here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go here. Oh wait, this isn't the place I'm thinking of. I mean, I do need to check this anyway. Maybe I should learn the code. That might help. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but, like, it might be. Alright. Did he say blue? Okay, wait. Which one? Blue is sixth. Okay. Probably should just memorize this so I don't have to do it again. Because I am using the same file every time, so... Honestly, I might as well. You get back there. Um, never mind. There's nothing back there. Yellow is first. Okay, yellow first, blue last. I bet it's in there. Unless it's not. Did I not shoot this? Oh. Yeah, so this is the place I really want to check every time. I don't know if it's in here. But it's like, it could be in any of the boxes, really. 
That would not be a bad place to put it, I think. And then there's always the chance that it'll be up here or something. But it's not, though. Okay, wait, is there anything else in this room I'm forgetting? I think that's basically it. You can go over here? Wow. There's, like, no point in going there. I'm assuming I need to put in the code. I haven't had to do it for any of the last 19 parts. So, you know, probably. Alright, what do you know? Ah. I just want to skip through the text to get to the important stuff. Green is second. Okay, so yellow, green. Okay. Green is also fourth. Red is third. Okay. And the last one is yellow. Okay. I got my, um, my sick memorization skills. I'll get this. Yellow, green, red? Yeah, red, green, yellow, blue. Okay, cool. It is over here, right? Yeah, of course it is. Under the tree. The tree? Okay. A lot of trees that could be referring to. Where now? I guess Woodfall. Woodfall is... Pretty small. We should hide one in a fairy fountain again. I swear that's only happened like once. Could it be over there? I knew it. I knew this was going to happen eventually. I was waiting for this. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm on part 20 now. Almost completely caught up. But yeah, um, I got seen Navi, and I tried it out, and I know how to do stuff, so that's cool. I mean, I'm able to just do basic stuff, like move stuff around, but I guess I can't add signs and stuff like that using that tool. I don't know. Missed 18. Um, wait. I'm already forgetting which one that was, even though I just did it. Um. Um. Oh, right, the Bohemian Rhapsody one. Yeah. I actually figured that out on my own. I feel very smart. It was really hard shooting all the torches, because they, like, they go out pretty quickly.
But yeah, I, I like that one. Wait, how do you even get up here? This is weird. Maybe I can hookshot. Okay, so like, how exactly do you go about doing that? Deku flower? Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, this one. I didn't even see that. Okay, cool. I don't know how I missed this. But yeah, do I have to use a hex editor or something? Hex editors seem hard. Center of five. Okay, so like, how do you even use one? I, I did get one. It's called... Let me see what it's called. Yeah, X... No, it's HXD. I'm assuming that's like... Like, which one do you use? Would that be a good one? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Because I was looking up hex editors for Majora's Mask, and, like, that's kind of one of the first things people online started talking about. Um... So, like, how exactly do you even add stuff in hex editors? I mean, I looked through the hex editor, and I can't tell what's going on. I mean, it's just... There's just a bunch of numbers. And I don't know what anything means. Like, are you able to read that? Am I supposed to be able to understand it? Yeah, I did want to get some help with this, so I actually kind of want to show this um, right now. Just because. Okay, so I have this. Um... Oh, right, I need to open... Oh my god, why is it... I hate it when my computer does this. I don't know what causes it to do this. Okay. So I can't just... I can't just type what I want to type. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, not sure what's up with that. You go to the room file, get the actor list, and copy it to the end of the file. Add an extra one then. Oh, room file. Okay, like, I have the decompressed ROM. How do you get, like specific rooms from that. I don't even know. Okay, wait, I just need to figure out how to even open up um, HXD, because I don't even know how to do it if I can't just type it in here. <laughs> Why is this opening? Okay. You know, it's got to be somewhere in here, right? It's probably somewhere in here. Oh, well, here's the setup. I could try using that. Maybe I can work with this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, let's just install it a second time. That seems like a great idea. Wait, yeah, create a desktop shortcut, I guess. Um, okay, that, wow, I actually did it. I actually figured that out. That was, like, way harder than it needed to be. Okay, so if you open the ramen scene Navi, it shows the file offset for each scene and the room in the scene. Okay, let me see this. Here's scene Navi. And... Cool, okay, so here's this. Okay, so... For each scene in the room in the scene. Yeah, okay, so like, you mean like these? Like, so this would be like a room, I guess. Or maybe it would be like one of these, yeah, these specific things. Oh, that thing, yeah. Okay, and so then if I go here, um, let me just open this. Hmm. So, like, this is, like, 0x1f1. What does that correspond to in this? Um, like, let's say I want to get to, just as a theoretical thing, like, let's say I just want to get to this room. How would I even get into this in uh, the hex editor? 
you need to search and go to oh i didn't even know that okay so i'll try oh i get it okay let's say like zero x wait i can't even say x type in the offset i'll just try like okay so i don't need that okay so one f one e zero 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 okay too many zeros that just means it's a hexadecimal number okay i get that okay so i searched that oh okay so it's oh so it's this thing i think yeah so it just says 16 and then there's some other numbers okay so if i wanted to add a sign how would i do that like I guess I'd have to change these, or some of these values, I guess, but I don't even know which ones. I don't even know how people figure this stuff out. This is hell. Like, this whole thing just looks so complicated, and my brain is dying. Every eight bytes is a header command. Um, Look for the one that starts with zero, 01. Zero one. Okay, like I mean the offset starts with zero one. So let me see this. Yeah, okay, so wait, so you mean there should be like a value in here that starts with zero one? But there isn't one for this line. The sixteen is one, then there's O four. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, O four, O eight. 10, 04, yeah, so it's just those. So, like, what am I supposed to do with these values exactly to add something? Hmm. I guess I'd have to change one of these. Scroll down a bit. Um... There's a lot of lines. Not that much. Yeah, uh, let me just search again. Yeah, I'll just try scrolling down only a little. Oh, I have to put this in again. Okay, so. Um, one. Oh, wait, is this even... Okay, yeah. No, wait, no, it's supposed to be search and then go to, right? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Okay, scroll wheel is easier to go line by line. Okay, like, here's this. I can just, yeah, I can just use arrow keys to just go down. So, like, how far down do you want me to go? Maybe just show all this. And there's so many things. Okay, this kind of shows everything I can on screen at the same time. That's anything. You see the zero, one, a two. Wait, let me let me try and find that. Um, pull up. I do not see that. Or do you mean this line? Do you mean 2A? Wait, no, that's something different. Never mind. Or maybe it is this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's this line. Okay, so that's the actors. Okay, so... Obviously, like, the sign is an actor, for instance, so I guess I would... Hmm. Would I make it 3A? I mean, I don't even... I don't even know what actors they're talking about. So, what would I do here? Zero one is actors command. 2A is amount of actors. 68 is the offset into each file. Okay, so... So, like, if it says 2A actors, that does that mean, like, 
Wait, what does A mean? Does that mean there's... Okay, so from the 16... If you click and drag, you can go to 68. Okay, um... Right, because there's 16 of these numbers or something. Okay, wait. Um, what am I supposed to do exactly? Life is hard. Like, what am I supposed to be clicking and dragging? Oh, wait, basically it's going to be offset plus 68. Okay, and so the offset is... 68 is the offset into the file. Okay, so this one... 01, one, F1, one, E, zero, 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 plus 68. Oh, I get it. Okay, so that's... Okay, I get it now. So if I go here, then... That would be... Okay, so zero, one... Yeah, okay, so O2. So it's, is it talking about this value or something? Okay, so starting there. Wow, okay. So I started on the one with 2A. Okay, I'm just trying to remember how I got here. Each actor is 16 bytes. Okay, I think I, I get it now. Okay, so that starts here. How would I... Um, so, like, how do I know which of these is, like, what object? Or which actor, I mean. Like, I know it starts here. But then it just kind of keeps going. What you can do to start out if you want is just change one of the already existing actors to be what you want. Okay, like... Um... I just don't know which one even corresponds to what. Like, I know it starts at O2, but I don't even know what O2 means. Okay, the first two bytes of an actor are its ID, which determines what it is. So 0274 is that first actor's ID. Right, because it's like these two. Okay, so they kind of come in pairs, I guess. Okay. So... Okay, so like, what even... What kind of actor even is this? And if I wanted to add multiple, what would I like... Hmm. And there's another 0274 after that. Wait, okay, so here's the 0274. But you say there's another 0274 after it? Oh, yeah, I see one on the next line. And then 007C. Yeah, okay, so that's like... Yeah, I see that. You can see it in C Navi better looking at the room actors. Oh, I think I get it. So if I I'll just go over here and then um I don't even care which one I pick. I'll just pick anything. Like this thing. Oh right, I have to go here. And Oh, wow, what do you know? It's a square signpost. Yeah, okay, so 0x88. There's also this other thing up here. Okay, so 00A8. So I guess that would be in one of these. Oh, yeah, 00A8. Okay, so this would be the sign, I think. Interesting. Okay, so like... um. So how would I, like, make a duplicate? Because, I mean, I guess that's all I'd really need to do, is literally just make a duplicate. It could be in the same location, and then I could just um, modify its position later, I guess.
Or maybe I'd have to make like a new line where I add a sign. I don't know. This is complex. I can make a video to show you how I do it. Okay, yeah, that, that would probably help, I guess. Yeah, so I guess like, um, I guess maybe you could send that to me sometime or something. That'd be helpful. Because, yeah, there's, there's a lot of other questions I have, like, how would I add a sign to an area that doesn't already have a sign? Stuff like that, because some areas in the game just don't have them. So, yeah, it, it probably would be easier. So, like, yeah, I can just, I can just not try this right now. Go back to see Navi. Oh, sure, okay. Switch to the Objects tab. Okay, here's Objects. Oh, I see. This one says 00FC. Square signpost. Yeah, that one. That's different from what this says, though. Why are there two different numbers, basically? 00FC and 0088. That needs to be there, or even if you add a sign, it won't load because it needs that object. Okay, so I would have to add, like, my own sign, so, like, I wouldn't be able to... Okay, um, I think I understand. It needs to be there, or even if I add a sign... Yeah, okay, so it won't be able to have, like, the same number, I guess? Could be wrong about that. Actor is the actual sign itself. Object is assets for the actor, like graphics. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so like, I guess it needs two, those two numbers then. I wonder if like I can find 00FC in here. Like, would that be around here? I thought it would be around here, but I don't really see it. It's before it. Um, wait. I don't see it here, though. 01, F1, um, E, O, 60. That's this line. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so it's this right here. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so... Okay, I think I get that. Zero one is actor list, zero B is object list. I think I've heard of that before. Okay. In the header, there's zero B, it says they start at 40. Um, okay, zero B, uh, oh, this, yeah, this zero B. Oh, okay, so that's how you can, Okay, yeah. I think I kind of, sort of, understand. Okay, let me try and find that. Wait, we're even... Okay, wait. So this is 0B, then 1300. Wait. Oh, wait, what am I doing? It should be in... Right before the actor list command. Um, actor list command. Wait, what is that? Wait, so zero B. Like, do I have to scroll down to find it or what? Oh, zero one F one. E zero two eight. Over here. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so 0B13... Oh, I see it, yeah. So it's like this. Yeah, okay, it's that number then. And so, like, what is the significance of that string? Of, uh... 
of numbers. Is it for the like graphics or something? For the actor, I guess. I'm assuming that's what that is. Defining uh, there's zero times sixteen objects located at offset zero x forty. Um, zero x forty. Oh, okay, so there's like zero one f one e zero three zero. Yeah, so this row then. Okay. So that's like the next, literally just the next row. Oh, 40. Okay. So that's like two rows down. Hmm. Each object is two bytes. Okay. So like, okay. And a byte is like the, it's like four of the digits. If I remember correctly, we can look in, uh, see Navi and compare. Okay. Okay, so zero one seven F zero one A five. Yeah, okay, they're here. Oh, okay, and so then I'm assuming I can find those corresponding in here. Like in this row. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it now. Okay, I actually do understand that. Yeah, because I can see zero one seven F here and then zero one A five. And then you go down far enough, and then you find the sign. So I guess... Okay, what is the last one here? Apparently it's Kotake, which is 018F. Where's that? 018F. Okay, so that's here. So, like, if I wanted to add something else, would I, like... Would I have to enter something here, where it says 0000? I don't know. Huh. Oh. And here's the 0274 from earlier. I think that was the number from earlier. In this case, you can add an extra object uh, without having to really change anything because of how they always pad stuff to four bytes. Oh, yeah, okay. So in this scenario, I guess I would just be able to change this value or something. If I wanted to make it a sign, how would I actually do that, though? Would I just use the exact same... Actually, I don't know. After this... Uh... 018F thing, uh, you can see a 00, zero. yeah, so it isn't used for anything, so I could change it to what I want. Okay, what if that was being used for something? Would I have to, like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would do. Then at the 0B command, change the 13 to 14. Oh, okay, so 0B, okay, so 13 to 14, right, because it's adding another object or something. So I can make that 14 and then where was the one I was literally just at? Um I think it was in this line. Yeah, here it is. So what would I change this to? Like this byte to just exactly what the other square sign is or what? If you move the actor list, then you would have a bunch of space to add more objects, then. But yeah, I'll make a video and try to explain it better. Yeah, that would be really helpful. So, like, thanks for that in advance. Yeah, too bad I can't just add stuff in here. That'd be so convenient. Okay. Um, another question is, uh, how would I, like, 
how would I change the text on the signs? Do I need like a separate tool for that? Or is that also something I could do with a hex editor? I'm assuming I probably could do it with a hex editor, but I don't even actually, I don't even know. I don't even know how I would do that. I did download this thing. I don't know if it actually matters, but it's called scroll of Majora. And it's apparently like used for text editing in Majora's mask. I don't really know much about it. I tried using it briefly. You can search for the text in the hex editor. Oh, really? So like... Or wait, what would I even search? Maybe this? Um, I don't even know what... Okay, search and find, and then I guess... Um, what's a... What could I type? I'll just type the word V, because that's a word they say in the name. Or they they say in the game. Okay, so there's that. Um, let me just uh, try searching something better than just three letters. How about I say... Oh, okay, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I, I figured that wasn't it. Um, I'm trying to think of text that is in the game. Okay, yeah, Woodfall. Try that. Can't find Woodfall. Is there not a sign that says Woodfall? somehow or maybe it's case sensitive no um great bay huh i thought that would work you shift plus f3 wait to search backwards um okay so shift f3 uh when am i supposed to press that I'm trying that. Switch in the menu there. Oh, so like here then? Okay, so like Shift F3 or like Is anything happening? And pass the text so it's searching forward. Oh, so I should say I can just press all then and it'll take me somewhere, I guess. Oh, okay, so you got a map of Great Bay. Oh, okay. I was wondering what all this text on the right was. Okay, I get it. Nice. Let me just try, like... Oh, okay. Kind of, like, overwrites the text. I don't know how I would... Oh, wow, this is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy this entire... This entire file. Let's make sure you don't mess it up. Yeah, like, what if you, um... What if you, like, okay, since it overwrites stuff, I mean, how am I supposed to, like, 0xbf is the end text box if you don't want to go past, oh, yeah, yeah, 0xbf, okay, that would be, I'll just try to find the end of something, 0xbf. Or maybe that was for the one I was just on. But yeah, um... Okay, I think I understand this now. So I see, like, the BF thing, but where's the 0x? Well, it must be this, anyway. Yeah, it's clearly that. Oh, right, there, there is no 0x. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if that would be in there or not. But I get it. Okay. Zero X just denotes it's hexademo yeah, hexadecimal. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like BF is pretty much marks the end of like all the text boxes, I think. I saw multiple. Yeah, here there's another one here. At the end of Pirate's Fortress. Yeah. If I just said 10, you might think that's 10, but 0x10 is 16 in hexadecimal. Okay. Okay, I think I... Yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay, so I mostly understand this. Yeah, so like, I guess all I would really need to know is, uh... 
yeah, I just need to know how to even like make more objects, like how I would even put that in here. But yeah, if, if you're going to make a video, then like, yeah, that would, that would help. I guess the only other thing I need to know is like, okay, so I know like in all the ice arrows missing hacks, there's like, hold on, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, like, there's a lot of things that are different. Like, obviously, the intro, like, the whole first three days thing is skipped. Um, stuff like that is, like, changed. And also, like, uh, Link's tunic is blue. How would I do stuff like that? Because I do want to customize that a little bit. Like, um, I want to make his tunic yellow. Obviously, like, for obvious reasons. And I obviously want to, I want it to automatically skip the first three days, stuff like that. I don't even know how to do that, though. I guess I need a different uh, decompressed ROM, I guess. Probably. So I'm just using one of, like, the regular game, and I haven't done anything to it. So it's literally just a regular, just a regular thing. That stuff is pretty easy, but more uh, technically, the stuff is... Or te more technical. That stuff is part of the code, and you need to change the values for where you want it to go on starting a file. Okay. I see. Yeah, that's something I want to know how to do as well. Something I'm wondering is, what if I, like... Okay, so I have the randomizer. So what if I literally just use the randomizer as, like, a base file? And just, like... Because, you know, in the randomizer, when you're, like, generating one, you can... Um, you can customize stuff like, like skipping the first three days and like the tunic color and all that. And so like, maybe I could do that and then just decompress the ROM and obviously not randomize any of the items. Would that work? Oh, I could probably do that. Okay. Yeah. That would be the easiest way to do that, I think. So I'm probably going to end up doing that. Yeah. I'll be sure to try that. I'll try and do that tonight. I think. Oh, but hopefully this would work. Like, so I I use this thing to decompress the file. Um, and I think if I don't just have, like, a regular, completely standard ROM, it doesn't really work. Okay, so I think you said in this version of CNavi, there's, like, a way to decompress ROMs. Or did you say that? I'm not sure. But, like, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I know I was trying to decompress something in here, and it didn't work because it wasn't just like a clean ROM or something. I don't even know. Okay, your web tool. Is there any way that you could, like, give that to me? Or, like, what is it exactly? I don't even know. I don't know how it works. Or maybe I could just find another way to decompress it. There's probably another way. Maybe. This is hard. Zdeck and Ndeck look for something specific, and if it's modified, they won't be able to decompress the ROM. Okay, so I probably just shouldn't even use that then, right? Because that's not even gonna... Yeah, that, that just won't work, I guess. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I also probably want to make a site, I guess, kind of like... There's one for... Ice arrow is missing and fire arrow is missing. And I'd probably want a matching one. I'm not even going to worry about that yet, though, because I'm not even I'm not even at that part yet. So, like, who cares right now? OK, so where exactly in this do you decompress the ROM? File, open ROM. I'll just try this as a test. OK, so I have this open. Whoa. What is going on here? Oh, and there's all, all this stuff. Oh, can you just, like... Oh, wow. You can, like, edit the locations of, like, all the polygons and stuff. Wow. Okay, so you can just file the compression, decompress. Oh, cool. Okay, that's really helpful. Okay, yeah, I guess... Yeah, I, I don't really need to do it now, but, yeah, I can try that later after I try the randomizer thing. 
But yeah, that is very helpful. I'll be sure to use this later. So yeah, I guess that's all of my questions right now. I can't actually save any changes in it yet, but I'm able to use it to view data. Oh, so if I, okay, so if I can't save changes, then, hmm. Like, would I be able to see the entire, like, hex code? Or, like, the, yeah, the thing, and then I could just, like, maybe somehow paste it into the hex editor? I don't even know. Left side in the list, the, um, that tells you where it's at. Okay, wait, let me go back to the tool. I'll try decompressing this then. Just to make sure I know how this works. This might take a few years. Oh, wait. Did it just work? I don't know. Okay, what did that do exactly? Okay, yeah, so it did it. Um, go there in hex editor to see it. Use file, save ROM. Okay. Oh, so you can save it. Okay. I can put this here or something. And then... Oh, okay, so I guess that is decompressed the way it is. Oh, okay, so... I thought you said you couldn't save any changes. Oh, you mean like changes you make in like this whole thing. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so this is the decompressed ROM, and I'm assuming I could open it in C Navi. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that works. Okay, yeah, that's a really helpful tool. Wow. Yeah, so I can definitely do that tonight. That'll be good. Um... Yeah, I guess I don't really need this right now because I'm not going to use that one. But yeah, this is really helpful. I guess I don't need this thing, and I probably don't need this thing either. So might as well just delete them. All right. You can compress and save, but like editing specific values of stuff. That doesn't save back to the ROM yet because I'm lazy and never got around to it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that is a really helpful tool. There's like, I couldn't find any more convenient way to decompress ROMs. I don't know why it's so complicated, but yeah. It's useful to see what the data is and where it's located in the hex editor. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So I know how to do that. Yeah, I guess, I guess the only other thing I really need to know is just how to add stuff like, um... Yeah, just how to add stuff like signs and the chest that has the item in it, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to do like really basic stuff, or at least I'm starting out with really basic stuff, so I don't really need to know much else beyond that right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to go much further beyond that, but yeah. But yeah, that'll be helpful. I have chest actors set up pretty good in Navi to make that easy. Chest actors. Wait, so what do you mean by that exactly? If you find one in a scene, you can see there will be a bunch of options on the right. Oh, I want to see that. Okay, so here's like a here's a bunch of grottos, so like obviously there's gonna be chests in here. Which room is that? There it is. Okay. So is that a chest? Wait, oh, this is a Gossip Stone Grotto. Well, never mind then. Room 5, okay. That is a lot of things. Okay, that one's probably the chest. Wait. How is this not... Does this even have a chest in it? Torch? Why is there a torch? Okay, yeah, I'll try room six. I don't even know what grotto that is. Okay, this one has to work. Okay, and... Yeah, okay, just use that one, whatever. Okay, so... 
Oh, so you can modify like what item you get. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah, that's really helpful. Okay. Wow, you can just change it to anything. Okay, yeah, that's really helpful. Cool, okay. Oh, and that's something you added, so that wasn't in the original version. That is really helpful. Yeah, and also changes what type of chest. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's cool, okay. Very helpful. Yeah, okay. I like how convenient that is. I like that I don't have to go into the hex editor to change that. That's pretty nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I guess one thing I might want to do is, you know, since the thing I'm trying, the thing I want to make is, like, light arrow is missing. Obviously, like, the light arrows aren't used for that much, but it is used in, like, Stone Tower Temple, especially to get to the inverted version. And I'm just wondering, like, how would I go about, like, making it possible to get to the inverted version? Like, is there any way I can make it so that, like, maybe when you shoot the red switch that turns the Stone Tower Temple upside down, maybe I could use the fire arrows or ice arrows to do that instead, or something like that? Just because I want everywhere in the overworld to be accessible and all that. I mean, I'm sure I, I probably could do that with the hex editor. I'm not sure how easy that would be. I mean, theoretically, it shouldn't be that hard, but, like, it might end up being really hard. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know if that would be easy or not. No idea. Oh, what are these? Oh, I think this means, like, when you hit a switch and it falls. Oh, that's probably possible, but I'm not sure how to do it off the top of my head. I have to try and look at the actor's code. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't have to be that as the answer, but I guess that would just be the easiest solution, I guess, if I wanted to do that. Something like that. But yeah. I guess that was probably my last question that I even had. But yeah, yeah, making a video to show how you do stuff would be very helpful. So I guess, yeah, just send that to me whenever you can. Okay, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to, yeah, to do here. Yeah, unless you have anything else uh, to tell me or anything, like, I think I, I might actually stop streaming right now because I've I've been streaming for a while but yeah I'll totally stream again tomorrow and probably um not start streaming so early that would be a good idea so yeah I can't wait to figure out how to do this I'm really excited to actually start like making stuff This is going to be cool. I guess I can just close everything. There's like a million things open. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for like helping out with this and all that. Because, yeah, I was hoping you would show up today so that I could ask questions. And then you did. And that's very cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just start working on this stuff. But first... I must consume food, so I will consume food, and then I will start working on this, and that'll be fun. But yeah, thank you so much for this. Um, Alright, bye.